Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing with you a spring edit of some of my favorite picks, things that I'm also thinking about potentially adding to my wardrobe for the season ahead now that it's starting to warm up here in Sydney. Just like with the autumn edit that I shared back on Wednesday night, I'm not going to be keeping all of these items. The way that I tend to shop for my wardrobe right now, especially as we're doing a lot of social distancing and not really going out too much, is to buy the things that I like, try them on at home, try them on with other items in my wardrobe and see whether they're going to be the right fit for me and then I'll return anything that I don't see myself wearing quite so much. Also if you were new here and you like the look of this video and you want to see more fashion and style videos from me then I would love if you could hit the subscribe button. Um, I post fashion videos basically every single week, every Sunday and every second Thursday so I would love to have you back. I'm going to dive right into it and you know one of the things that I got asked a lot was to feature more Australian brands which is pretty much predominantly what I have here on my rail. There's a couple of European ones but pretty much everything here is from an Aussie retailer and I thought I'd start with this first top which is from Country Road. Now, a while back I did an anti-haul and I talked about an off-the-shoulder top that I really love the look of, but when I tried it on it just didn't feel remarkable, it didn't feel special. It was this particular style, however this one, this is different, it feels special, the fabric is different, it's got a really nice sort of lustrous kind of a feel to it, uh, and I love the print. It's almost, I wouldn't call this quite a gingham, but it is a check white and black, very easy to pair, a great way to add a little bit of print into your wardrobe. And what I liked about this is the fact that you can not just wear it off the shoulder, as I've done here, or off both shoulders, but you can wear it just off one shoulder. So you get a slightly different vibe because additionally, the cuffs on these are also elasticated. I just went with a size small, which I think is a good fit. I'm glad I stuck with my usual size, as Country Road does vanity size sometimes, so you do kind of need to keep that in mind. But yeah, I just think this is a really easy, beautiful kind of a summery piece and um, really nice for the weather that we've been having right now and a great way to kind of bear some shoulders and avoid getting tan lines if you are out and about getting a bit of sun. Before I move on to the next clothing piece, I also want to highlight a hat because one thing I've noticed, particularly with going out for my long walks, is that my hairline has been getting sunburned and, you know, I try to be sun smart as possible, but I didn't really have an appropriate hat. Well, I've got a few straw hats, but they're not ideal for if it's really windy. So when I spotted this black cotton it's almost like a bucket style hat, but not from Marl. I really wanted to give it a go, and I actually, I adore this. I've still got the tag on, but here so you can see. It has this raw edged hem, and I think it's just a really nice classic kind of a shape, this sort of thing, that I don't really feel is going to date. You know, bucket hats that have a bit of a shorter brim or maybe that are a little bit wider and a bit uh, looser on the head. I think that sort of trend is definitely going to be something that we see going away. But this particular style I think is very timeless. And actually they do have a slightly more expensive one which has a wider brim on it if you want something that makes a little bit more of a statement or you want to cover up your face a bit more. Next up we have the Cleo blouse from Cezanne and again if you saw the items that I was thinking about purchasing from the new autumn collection this was one of them because to me it struck me as a really beautiful transitional season piece something you could wear not just in the autumn time but also in the spring you could also wear it in the summer if you live in a milder climate or alternatively you could also wear it in the winter as well just layering it up a little bit I really liked all the details on it it has this beautiful stunning lace work around the cuffs which I just think is divine it's actually a mesh with a lace imprint on top. There's also the same lace detail down the front of the blouse and then it has this beautiful square back with little buttons as well which are fabric covered and I think it's those little elements that make this feel very elevated and very special. It's a cotton piece too and it has almost this kind of raw textured look to it so you'll be able to see in the cutaways and up close that there's almost like a grid pattern on the actual cotton itself which is just a little bit unusual and different and it's those little details that I do look for when I am adding things to my closet because I do have such basic style. Um, I did size up in this and I'm gonna say I could tell as soon as I put it on that was a big mistake so 
I'm an AU8 and I got the French 38 which translates to a 10 just because I thought I might need a bit more room around the bust just as I am a larger cup size right now as I'm nursing but <laughs> this is quite a floaty airy blast you do not need to size up at all I'd say stick with your true size if you've been looking at this one but it does also have really really wide armholes which was something I wasn't expecting so it's got quite kind of a boxy fit here which isn't a detail that I absolutely love but it does have a very bohemian feel to it and the quality of this is absolutely stunning and it's definitely one of the more special pieces that I have purchased from Cezanne. One of the brands that I've absolutely been itching to try is called Air and I would say most of the items that I've kind of spotted that I like from the brand are linen so now really felt like the right time to pick a few pieces up and sort of see how they felt and you know whether I thought they would be a worthwhile investment, a great piece to kind of add to my wardrobe long term. And one of the first things that really caught my eye was this dress here. It is a super long linen I, it's a maxi dress basically so if you are on the petite end of the spectrum then you definitely need to get it taken up. This is a super heavyweight linen. It's got some serious heft to it. It doesn't feel like it's been washed so it's also quite stiff as well so you can kind of see it has a bit more structure to it. I love the fact that it, it has those elasticated sleeves and this sort of a balloon shape so you can push them up and get a little bit more volume just like with that country road top that I shared at the start of this video and it also has this spectacular open back detail which is incredibly pretty and I think it's just a huge statement. Um, knits in at the waist with a really thick elastic band and then it has these side slits and one of the other things that I really liked about this is that it is double lined so it feels like there's been a lot of thought and intention that has gone into this piece. It feels incredibly well made um, and it's a bit more of a, I would say this is a spring piece for sure. I would not be able to wear this at all in the summertime because it just gets way too hot here in Sydney but again if you lived in a milder climate I mean this would be a beautiful dress to wear uh, particularly in the evenings if you had sort of a special occasion if you're able to go out um, I think this would be a really lovely one if you lived in New Zealand actually um, I think this would be a great option too I think the reason why I was so drawn to this piece is it reminded me a lot of Matto which is a brand that I absolutely adore it's an Australian brand I will leave them linked down in the description box if you want to go check them out actually uh, because they do some incredible items it's just a much higher price point so this is a affordable way of getting that Matto look but yeah for a lot less <laughs> The other item that I bought from Air is this very pretty wrap mini skirt in a black linen. I actually think it comes in another colour. I wonder if you can oh, see the length. I'll show you on the cutaway a little bit better. But this is really lovely. It's an A-line style and then it also has a tuliped crossover effect at the front as well which I think is a really flattering detail and it's something that I really love about my Isabel Morant skirts and I was kind of looking at wrap skirts to see what was out there and yeah this was just the first thing that caught my eye. Um, this is a much lighter weight linen to the dress that I just showed you. Uh, it feels a lot softer to the touch and it is double lined as well so it's fully opaque so it's not something you have to worry about but I think it's a really good length comes to midway down the thigh so you're showing a bit of skin but not necessarily too much and it has a really nice high waisted fit. Um, I do like skirts like this that have the tie at the side because it means you can adjust the fit so it, it is tailored towards you as opposed to having something with a very defined waist that might be a little bit too big, might be a little bit snug that may need to get tailored so that's one of the reasons why I really like wrap skirts but I mean, this is just such an easy piece to style. I think it looks really cute with this t-shirt that I'm wearing. Look great with a silk blouse, with a little camisole, with a big oversized sweater when it's cooler. I um, mean, yeah, definitely a really good basic item. Okay, so this next piece is a pair of trousers from my kit. And when I was adding these to my cart, I sort of felt like they were a real wild card purchase. I didn't really think that I was going to love the fit of them and love them as much as I did when they arrived. They're in this really beautiful, rich, Almost, it's a deep forest green. It has kind of a khaki undertone to it, which I think is just really beautiful. And the cotton that they've used is, it's kind of a suede cotton, so it's got a very smooth, almost silky feel to it. Um, and what I like about these actually is they have this little button detail on the side and elasticated panels so that you can actually tighten the trousers so that they fit you a little bit more snugly or if you need to you can loosen them so you've got a little bit more room around the waist. They have a really nice crop length. Now at the time that I'm filming this video they're on sale I think they're half price and they're an unbelievable price so if you've been looking at these or you've been thinking about them 
I can't recommend them enough. I just think they are a beautiful trouser. They also come in navy. I don't think the navy ones are on sale. And they did come in a beige as well. But the beige ones I think are sold out in almost all sizes. But yeah, these are just, they're brilliant. I think they are exceptional value for money and a really lovely fit as well. Um, I got the 36 and I mean, you kind of see I've got it on the tighter button. I do have a little bit of room around the waist there, but I mean, I don't really want them to fit too tightly. I want to have a little bit of room there. And I think if I had sized down, they would probably fit a little bit too tight over the hips and bum. So definitely glad I stuck true to size. Um, and as I mentioned, I'm an AU8 for reference. More linen. And as you can tell, there was a real theme when it came to picking out these items. I really went for fabrics that are very comfortable to wear in the warmer months. And you have to be quite conscious of when you live in a city that heats up considerably as we hit the summer months. Now, this is from CT heritage and it's a really nice kind of lightweight wash linen. I actually was expecting it to have a stiffer feel to it when it arrived in the mail so I was pleasantly surprised by that. What drew me to this was that it reminded me a lot of a dress that I've got from Portman's which I wore loads Maybe was it last summer? Or the, no, the summer before last. I'm going to insert a photo of it so you can see the dress I'm talking about. It was sort of a dupe for an Isabel Morant dress. And yeah, this has that same vibe. It's got the ruffle sleeves, which I think is very pretty and a nice way to just make this very basic linen tee feel a little bit more special. Um, but yeah, I did size up in this to a tinge so that I would have a bit more room. And I'm glad I did. I think it just gives it a very nice relaxed feel. Now, I also want to talk about some sandals, which I've got here, which I spotted and they just struck me as an incredible dupe for my Saint Laurent New Pieds slides. And these are from Verily, I think is how you say it. They're a pinky, dusty rose patent, and it's actually a faux patent, so it's uh, completely man-made. So these are incredibly affordable. I think they were $60, but they are very comfortable. It's a very soft faux leather, so it's not going to be the kind that will give you blisters, you know, when you put them on. It's not going to cut into your feet, which I think is really nice. Um, I would say, like most shoes like this, they are definitely more designed for a narrow foot. I got the 40 and I think if I was to keep these in my closet, I would have to size up to a 41 just so I had a bit more length along the sole because you might be able to see from the cutaways that it's cutting it a little bit fine. My heel is very much on the edge. If you have a narrow foot, I would say stick true to size. But yeah, they do come in a few colours. However, I thought that this was the prettiest option. And being a dusty pink, it's almost a nude. And these are going to be so versatile. They'll go with basically every colour in your closet. I even feel like these would look really, really lovely paired with my kale green coloured shorts from Madewell. So... Yeah, I thought those were a really great find and such an incredible price, especially if you have been eyeing up the Saint Laurent slides, but you just can't justify the price point. Beckenbridge definitely is up there as among one of my favorite Australian designers. I always love looking at their new season collections. I think they do really beautiful colors, but also really beautiful cuts as well. And this top I spotted on their website and I just thought, what a gorgeous hue and also what a really great basic as well. Um, I really liked how the knit has a bit of a chevron <laughs> detail to it. So it is slanted, kind of coming together in the center of the top. Same at the back, has a really nice sort of thin straps as well um, and I just think a really nice easy summer piece something that would be very simple to transition from weekend to going out with your friends for drinks or going out for a nice dinner you could possibly even wear this to the office as well depending on the dress code that you have so if it's a more casual environment or if it's corporate environment where you're allowed to wear things that are sleeveless so I do think that these skinny straps are probably a bit borderline, so maybe something you would wear underneath a blazer. Perhaps the only thing that I noticed about this top is that the bra situation is a little bit tricky, so I've still got to find a solution. I feel like this is the kind of thing that would work best with a really nice concealed padded strapless bra, otherwise you might want to wear those little nippies. I will link the ones that I think are the best out of everyone that I've tried down in the description box below if you'd like to go check those out. But yeah, I just think, I mean, this color is stunning. It comes in a few different color options as well. And I spotted when I was looking on the website last night that they also have this in a dress version too. So if you wanted to get the dress, I mean, that would be incredibly versatile because you could wear it as a top just tucked in because it is so form fitting. You could also wear it as a dress and then you could wear it as a skirt too with a big chunky knit over the top. So if you went for the dress you'd be getting a lot of bang for your buck so I'm going to leave that one linked down in the description box as well in case you'd like to go and check it out. 
One of the things that was on my wish list for the spring season was just a really simple black linen wide leg trouser and I had a little bit of a look around and then I spotted that Faithful were selling a pair in a really beautiful kind of a blue color. I think there was a few different options uh, and I thought I'd just have a nosy on their website and see if they had them in black, which they did. So. I ordered them, <laughs> ones that I'm wearing right now, and what I really liked about these is just how wide the leg was. They feel very swishy, and to me, they kind of have that mystique, like is it a skirt, is it a pair of trousers? You can't really tell, and every now and then you get a little bit of a glimpse to see that they're actually trousers, which I personally really love. I also really like the vintage element uh, here on the belt, so it's a circle, it's fabric colored, um, it's fabric covered and just matches the actual linen of the trousers perfectly. Uh, the linen material itself, it is definitely textured, but it feels like it's been washed. It's soft, but not super soft. So I'm not really <laughs> sure that's the best description, but hopefully that helps. Um, there are pockets on the back, but not on the hips. And I actually think the reason why that is, is so that there is a really nice seamless flow here down the side of your hips, which actually is a lot more flattering than if there would have been pockets here, just because of the way that they fit. But you're just really pretty, really floaty. I mean, again, another really simple, easy item to style, which was really the theme with a lot of these pieces here that I picked out and I mean you could just imagine it paired with this cocoa colored tank from Beck and Bridge. I think that would be such a match made in heaven. It would look really beautiful. But yeah, that is the linen trouser pick. And then the final top that I wanted to share is this ribbed, almost like a cutaway halter neck top from Mango. And I thought that this was a really pretty and kind of had a similar vibe to it as the Beck and Bridge top. However, this one here has just a straight up and down rib. This is almost a honey beige color. I think it's really pretty. I mean, this is a nice way to add a simple neutral. And if you only wear white, black, and gray, a really easy way to kind of inject a little bit more color into your closet for sure. It just feels a little bit more interesting. One thing I do want to point out about this top is that the bra situation again with this is a little bit challenging um, and you might be able to notice this more in the cutaways but uh, yeah you do need to either wear nippies or find a really good strapless bra to go with it because it does kind of show every single little lump and bump underneath but I just think so incredibly affordable such a great basic uh, it does come in loads of other colors as well if this wasn't your jam or you wanted a little bit or you wanted something a little bit different. I think they're mostly earthy shades, <laughs> so very neutral. But yeah, I just thought a really nice kind of pretty summer piece, a really beautiful one if you want to expose your shoulders, which I find this type of cut on a tank very, very flattering. From that perspective, it reminds me a lot of my Totem tank, which I love and will be wearing a lot over the summer months. But yeah, just a really good affordable option, very easy to kind of style. Um, you could wear this with a midi skirt, you could wear it with jeans, uh, you could wear it with trousers if you wanted to dress it up a little bit with a heel, but just a very simple, easy item. Um, but yeah, that is kind of the last thing that I wanted to share with you as part of this edit. Again, I want to know what your favorite pieces are and which ones you would be keeping if you were me. If you want to see what I actually end up keeping from both this video and from my autumn edit, you'll have to keep an eye out for next Sunday's video because I'll be sharing everything there along with how I plan on styling them in my closet. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you got some inspiration or some ideas or this just gave you a little bit of food for thought about how you want to plan your wardrobe for the season ahead. I will see you next time with a brand new video. See you soon. Bye.